Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have another example where we initially cannot separate the variables, but if we do something clever, it becomes separable, or the variables become separable. So what we want to do here is divide both sides of the equation by x. When we do that, we get the following. So divide this by x, divide this by x, and here we get y prime is equal to 1 plus y over x. And then we can make the substitution where y over x can be represented by u. So what we're going to do now is say, let u equals y over x. And then we want to find y prime in terms of u. So we take this equation and we write it as y is equal to u times x. And then we find y prime or dy dx, dy dx. And since this is a product, we have to use the product rule here. So this is the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first, which would be du dx. So that means that dy dx, which is the y prime over here, can now be written as u plus x times du dx. So when we plug that in here and substitute for u over here, y prime would now be u plus x times du dx is equal to 1 plus, and y over x now can be written as u. Now what's nice about this equation is you have a u on both sides of the equation, so that cancels out. And so now we have du dx times x is equal to 1. And now we're able to separate the variables and then of course solve for the equation. So now we put the dx over here, put the x down here, so we have du is equal to dx divided by x. We can now integrate both sides. So on the left side we get u equals, on the right side we get the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. So now we go ahead and substitute back in what we have for u. So u is y over x. So now we can write y divided by x is equal to the natural log of x plus c. We now take the x and put it on the left side of the equation. So now we can write that y is equal to x times the natural log of x plus a constant of integration, or you can also write as y is equal to x times the natural log of x plus x times c. And this would then be the solution to this differential equation, to the original differential equation. Now to check that out, there's a nice check we can do. Let me use a different color for that. Let's go ahead and plug this back into the original equation. So remember the original equation was this. It was x <coughs> times y prime is equal to x plus y. So let's go ahead and plug in y prime. So what we need to do is find y prime so we can plug it in here. So we can say that y prime or dy dx, so write as dy dx is equal to, this is a product, so it's the first times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x, plus the second, the natural log of x, times the derivative of the first, which is times 1, and then here the derivative of x times c would be plus c. Simplifying this, we could then say that y prime is equal to, that cancels out, that would be 1 plus the natural log of x plus c. So if we plug this in for y prime, and then we have x, x, and y, and y of course is equal to this, then the left side should equal the right side, and if it does, then we know we found the proper solution. So here we have x times y prime, which is 1 plus the natural log of x plus c, is equal to, on the right side, we have x plus y, and y was equal to x times the natural log of x plus x times c. All right, when we get rid of the parentheses, we get x plus x times the natural log of x plus x times c is equal to, and on the right side, we have x plus x times the natural log of x plus x times c, and you can see that the right side is indeed equal to the left side, and therefore we know that we found the correct solution over here. And that's how we take an equation at first, it doesn't appear like we separate the variables, but when we divide both sides by x, we do get it in its separable form, and then we can go ahead and solve for the differential equation. That's how it's done.